you do it again now. Oh, no, Hi. How are you doing it? What was that guy doing? How was he walking? <laughs> 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 it, it looks like you're running. I'm not recording from here. Now talk to the camera. I look like the guy yeah, from like, Terminator like 2. No, the Terminator 2 guy. Okay. Run. Okay, run and then just look this way and talk to the camera. <laughs> the bench is right there. Oh, I need to check my sleep score. It's probably really bad. What do you think? What was yours today? I'm gonna take a look really quick because I have not checked either. Let's compare. I think I had a pretty decent sleep score because I didn't sleep ultra late. You always say I'm gonna sleep early and then you show me the sleep score and it's like <laughs> 1 p.m. or 1 a.m. Oh, I got 90! <laughs> 7 hours and 36? Ain't slept at 12? Yeah. Good on you. Yeah, so what about you? Huh? Good on you. It's, it's gonna say like 50 and it's pay attention <laughs> I, I need to get i know it does <laughs> it says pay attention <laughs> it's because i i, I don't want, it gives me like a suggested sleeping time mm -hmm. and i always ignore it it suggests a sleeping time for you yeah. oh you're supposed to do that no it mm. doesn't no it, it, it doesn't tell me how to live my life <laughs> <laughs> i wake i woke up at seven this morning yeah with the alarm and i got up took a picture i was like oh it's only seven I sleep a little more so I went back to bed. Just to provide some more context. He takes selfies in the morning. No, I don't take <laughs> selfies. <gasps> oh man. Oh my god. Look how grown she is. <laughs> She's an adult now. <laughs> That's our girl. Wow. I never thought I'd see her again. And it's funny too yeah, because I think, I think you should say hi to her. Why? Oh look, pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? So I just wanted to record because I want to show everyone how much he drinks. <laughs> the, the, half of these are hers. Wow. No, he, She's like, I'm gonna leave my cup here. <laughs> I, I, I got, I gotta make room for my bubble. Too. No, but it's just. Gets, gets no, some but water what's way. interesting that he does <laughs> is that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are you afraid to drink that way? You're gonna crush the cup? Oh, yeah, I'll crush it. <laughs> I'll crush it like the, what is it, the binoculars. Mm. Yeah, but see, the interesting thing about when he wants some water, he goes to Chick fil A, then he goes to In N Out, because they're right next to each other, then he goes to Chick fil A again. And that one's Chick yours, that one's mine, this one's mine, that one's yours. <laughs> Unreal. What you, you're just labeling it as mine because you passed on ownership to me just now. You know the thing that sucks though is because what? of my apartment, the trash is not, not right mm -hmm. next to my parking. Mm -hmm. So I would have to walk all the way to the dumpster and I don't want to do that. When you park. Yeah. When you park. What do you mean? Throw them out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like when I park, I would have to go all the way to the dumpster and I don't want to do that. It's right there. No, it's not. It's all the way over there. <laughs> I have to go all the way over there and come all the way back and then go back to my apartment. It's like two steps away. Yeah, I need a bag so I can carry them all. I can't yeah. carry all these. It makes it difficult when people just leave their trash behind. <laughs> we can throw some out when you drop me off. Because right. the trash is all the way over there. No, the trash is right there. <laughs> it's it's your, all the way over there. The trash is right there. For me, I have to walk like half a mile. No. I'm like, I'm like, okay, your trash is double my distance. Double. My trash. It's just down the end of the parking lot. Your trash is literally in your I know, driveway. But I'm saying the distance from where you park your truck to my trash double is yours. Oh no, it's like yeah. quadruple. It's no, so far. This guy's I lazy. I literally have to grab my hiking gear to go all the way to the <laughs> trash and come back. So <laughs> it's too I much. I need a walking stick just like, getting over there. <laughs> Bring Maya. <laughs> It's off. It's off. <laughs> it's off. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Hi guys, it's Friday. And today I want to go try out this new Chinese restaurant. Um, I finished watching a Taiwanese teen epic drama last night. It's called um, A Brighter Summer Day in English. 
and it was I think almost four hours long or maybe over four hours but I did finish it and just seeing um, the culture and the history that I'm completely unaware of and I watched Crash and Tiger Hidden Dragon afterwards yesterday I still feel um, some sort of disappointment that ever since I moved here I hardly eat Chinese food which is my favorite of all time <laughs> so I want to try out um, some new places because I really haven't discovered restaurants around here much at all and um, I think I might be pleasantly surprised this one place that I'm looking at it's called Red Moon Noodle House I feel like it might have some good stuff I'm probably gonna go I think I'm gonna go a little bit basic well I don't even know if it's called basic but I think I'm gonna get four dishes I'm gonna get green beans that is probably something that is simple to make but I love green beans if they make it right I'm actually a big vegetable person I like vegetables over meat generally um, I'm gonna probably get a shrimp fried rice I'm going to get honey walnut shrimp that is something that we got often whenever we went out to eat rest whenever we went out to eat meals as a family and then I'm also going to get salt and pepper pork chop which is basically pai gu pai gu that's something that we always get and my brother loves that dish so let's see what their pai gu is like I think I'm gonna take Riley for a walk first though because we haven't gone outside yet today so my plans got derailed because the restaurant that I want to eat at actually does not open until 4 30 today but it's also funny how whenever my plans get derailed I kind of just feel lost for a moment I'm like what the fuck <laughs> like the thing is when I plan out my day I just have things just set in order so I'm not like super rigid I don't like write it down or anything but mentally I'm like okay today I definitely want to eat some Chinese food because it's been a while I want to try a new place and so I took Riley for a walk we walked for like 40 minutes and the entire time I was like okay after this I'm going to place my order and then I'm gonna go pick it up so then when I called them and they said that they were not open until 4 30 I was like fuck I was really looking forward to this meal because I already had all the dishes I wanted prepared and I was excited to eat Chinese food and now I, I don't know um, what I want to get because yes there's other Chinese restaurants around but it's hard to find authentic I looked at some of the restaurants on this eastern side and they all look like garbage I feel like if I see a chicken and broccoli or no if I see a ch broccoli and beef dish or something like that with a bunch of sauce maybe I'm being judgmental but that to me usually signifies it's um, Americanized Chinese and I don't want any of that crap I want legit Chinese there's like no Taiwanese restaurants around here either it's just kind of disappointing I am actually tempted to eat fried chicken lately I just don't know how much I'll actually enjoy it in the moment it sounds good but yeah for banchan every time I've had it lately it's just been like I'm not as into it but maybe I'll go get that and then stop by the um, Chinese bakery because I have not had egg tarts in a while if you have never tried egg tarts before I would really recommend you try it it is so delicious it sounds weird because it has egg in it but it is so delicious it's the best pastry my favorite pastry of all time I just have a few reservations because if I need to go to these places it's west I don't go that way anymore because it's I moved further away so it's maybe like a 15 to 20 minute drive I'd say more so 20 maybe it is actually 15 it just feels very long but yeah I guess I'll head over there and then maybe I will figure out somewhere else and drive there all right I took a detour to this restaurant somebody recommended it to me and they have braised pork belly so I'm gonna give them a try they have pretty much removed their bakery items from hold on all right I'm finally home with all of my food that actually felt like it took a while I actually think I'm gonna move the table out into the sun because it's always very chilly for me when I'm in the shade I need the sun otherwise the breeze and the shade is just gonna be too cool for me plus it's dark wonderful 
Just as I want to show my food, someone is using some sort of machinery. Um, a couple comments. The fried rice looks really good to me. I just feel like, ooh, they add a cabbage in there too. That makes me really happy. The pork belly looks really good as well. That is my dandan dan noodles that I think I'm supposed to put that on top of it. So we'll see what that tastes like. I really have no idea what to expect from that. Cabbage looks good too. Wiggly nose. <laughs> All right, let's try out some of this food. I'm gonna try the cabbage first. <laughs> Crispy meat. Mmm. Cabbage is good. It gives you so much, also. Mmm. I love cabbage so much. Mmm. It's so good. Alright. Close this up for now. Now we try some of the pork belly. Not bad. I love the pork fat. It's so gooey and delicious. Alright, so the dan dan noodles, I'm kind of hesitant because I don't know what this is. The sauce is all spicy looking and I don't know what's even in it. Um, it smells spicy, which I'm not too thrilled about. Alright, fried rice. Mm. Not bad. Dan Dan noodles, whatever the heck that is. We try some. <clears throat> the texture of the noodles is nice. Not bad. This is a lot of food. I feel like I bought four meals worth of food. Peppers. Mmm. I should get some water. Hey guys, Blossom Valley is so beautiful. I took a walk with Riley and then I am sitting here <laughs> staring at this for a little longer. Let me see what time is it. It's five o'clock now. I think I'll head back, but um, I always underestimate how nice it is coming here. Sometimes when I think about it, I'm just like, oh, it's nice. It's all right, pretty good. But then when I actually get here, I'm like, oh my God, I feel so full so full of happiness i love it here but now it's time to go home you've had a lot of exercise so that means it is prime time for place good girl right here i 
had a delicious egg tart. Saved it for when I, oh, wow. It's very stuck to the thing. All right, here we go, here we go. Nice and crispy. Mmm. 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 That's what the inside looks like. Push your face into my finger, Milo. I know you want to. There you go. <laughs> wow, she's just watching me. She's still shedding. I don't get it. Her butt is nonstop, like, pushing out stuff. That's not shit. Her butt keeps pushing out hair. I don't understand. My floors constantly filled with hair. Look at this. I vacuumed um, yesterday evening. I usually vacuum right before I do a workout so I don't step on some hair and trip. Okay, all right. 